I said a trig, a nom, a trigonometry. Find the high point of new stuff, you get the square root. Work with it angles, and you suck a toe. Think about the numbers you've got. Now listen here, we're learning trig. It's easy, you will see. A squared plus B squared equals A squared. Not difficult, you'll agree. Right angle triangles have three sides. One's got a funny name. The longest side's the high part, and you see other two make up this game. Square the lengths, multiply by themselves, that's how these equations go. But one side's represented by a symbol, that's the one we need to know. So you need to know what side it is, we're gonna figure out. If it's the hype or the shortest side, think then give a shout. If it's the hype or the new it's really easy, just add the other two. But if it's one of the shortest sides, well that's simple too. All you do is take the number to the other side And take it from the hypotenuse It's easy, have you tried? Remember when you've done this There's one thing left to do Take the number that you've got left And find out its square root When you've got the square root That's the length of the side you finished up the equation And your answer's bona fide I bust a cap in your Pythagoras Okay, now the formula you need for right angle triangles is A squared plus B squared equals H squared. A and B are the shortest sides of the triangle, and H stands for hypotenuse, which is obviously the longest side. All you need to do is add the numbers that you've got into the equation and work it out. But remember, at the end, you need to work out the square root of the answer that you've got to get the length of the side. Work out the square root, always. When working the trig, you'll get three values, one angle and two sides. There's three formulas for sack you need to multiply or divide. First thing, label all three sides using the letters H, A, and O. Then write down sack it's important, don't you know? Look at the triangle that you've got, you need to figure out which sides you are given. It'll help without a doubt. Oh, so the line opposite the angle, the one adjacent, that's the A. H stands for hypotenuse, and now we're ready to play. Is it O, H, A, H, O, O, A? Which two sides do you have you really need to see? Think about the two you've got. Write a formula triangle. Cover up the number you need to find and write the remaining sample. Tell the numbers in the letters with what you got and then work it out. Then check the answer sensible. Write it down if you're not in doubt. Now, trigonometry is a little different. Remember the word SAKATOA! Okay? First up, take a triangle and label all three sides. The hypotenuse should be labelled H, the side opposite the angle you're given should be labelled O for opposite, and the line next to the angle is adjacent to it, and so it should be given the letter A. Okay? So label it. When you've done that, write down SAKATOA! And figure out which two sides you have. If it's the opposite in the hypotenuse, you're going to use the sine formula triangle. The adjacent in the hypotenuse will use the cos formula triangle. And finally, if it's the opposite in the adjacent, you'll use the tan formula triangle. Next, cover up the thing you need to find out and use the remaining formula to find it. Translate the letters you have into the numbers you are given in the question and work the equation. When you've done this, check whether the answer is sensible. If it is, write it down and then you've got the marks. Well done! 